Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. We're back in the 1.16. 1.16? We're back in the 1.17 Survivor World. I have no idea why I said 1.16. We have, I haven't said 1.16 in like two years. No, not two years. Like a year now. I literally have no idea why I said 1.16. We're back in the 1.17 Survivor World. And yesterday was a new sort of video. Um, it was me showcasing some secrets or playing a survival version of my features to show off secrets. It will be a short series. It will probably uh, extend a few episodes. I, off camera, have built uh, the ceiling on that. And I've also extended the moss all the way up until about here. And I'm now just waiting until I like terraform that cliff a little bit so I can see like how far I have to go this way my a goal is to like get rid of all the sand and then like have the moss like um meet up or and blend in with the savannah a little bit as if it's like corrupting the savannah that's my goal um if I, that when that will happen i have no idea but we're not far off there's a bit of sand here and there's little bits that i need to break from enderman and there's more sand over here that also needs to go that won't count, that's a beach. So we haven't got that much more to actually do, which is pretty cool. We have done a majority of it. I terraformed all of this area. Uh, this is now completely done, and it should have that wall uh, filled in as well. So we're getting there, or at least we're getting somewhere on this world. I still need to finish that, which that is something I'll do off camera. Today I think we're going to build a building around this, uh, just to get this done, so then like this area is complete. I have no idea what will be around this building, but if you didn't know, this is our sea pickle farm. And it does still work, I'm pretty sure. Although there is two minecarts in there. I, I don't know why they're in there, I'll have to remove them. So I think we're going to build a building around that. And then we might, let's actually get a roof on this first. As I think that's something that we could do right now. So I'm decided to go around the whole roof with uh, st uh, what they called never brick stairs. And I've outlined that with some soul sand because we're going to have some actual uh, quartz, not quartz, never wart growing up here. And we're going to build it up as if it's like a, um, what's it called? A never fortress. So I've actually only got, no, I have still got some never bricks. We can blend some of these in um, and then we could have like bigger patches of the cracked never bricks going through it as if it's like slowly cracking over time. And then we can, I don't know if this roof is going to look good. Once again, I'm just completely winging it. I haven't planned anything in a creative test world before. So between this episode and the next, there will probably be some changes to this roof um, where I see fit. So I have done some more work on the roof of the Neverwalk farm. And I've changed it up a little bit. I decided not to go with the soul sand around the edge. And I've decided to go for, once again, a flat roof. Um, but it's two never brick, three glass, two never brick, and then it will be three glass. Um, just to make it a bit better, I've also decorated the floor so it's this all the way around. I've still got some more work to do in there. And I could have actually made this building a lot smaller, which is something that I might actually do in the future. Um, just to give a bit more room around here. So that is something I might do. I'm not too sure yet, though. That is something that will be um, in the back of my head. So if I like want to do it, I will do that. The next thing I'm actually going to do in this episode is build a building around this. Which I'm now once again thinking, if I build it here, now this here should be good. So at first we're going to use blackstone. And then we're going to move to uh, basalt, not basalt, uh, to deep slate when we get up the building a little bit. So I'm actually going to go one out from here. And build it up by three. And then this is going to go all the way around in a sort of circle. So it's going to go to there. And also to there. And then it's going to go in by one. And then also in by another one. And then it's going to go flat again. I do need to break it down a little bit. Because obviously it is... Uh, no, this isn't right. Yeah, it is right. That one. And then it should go to there. And it should slope in by two. And then go here again. And then I just need to bring this all the way around. And that shouldn't actually be there. 
And then it's going to slope up. If you don't know what this is, this is going to be a smokestack. So there is some, like smoke going to be coming out on top of it. And this is just to bring a little bit more like liveliness to the build uh, or to the area. Just so it looks like it is a farming area. And all the uh, farms are obviously producing the smoke. But it's being sent to this smokestack. So I'm just going to go through and replace all of these at the bottom here. Uh, because obviously it's carpets. And also, before I jump to anything else, what did you guys think of the new series on my channel? It's not really a new series, uh, but it is. Because it's me discovering the secrets of MO features. Things that you guys wouldn't know um, if you haven't played with a mod. And obviously, I know, uh, even though some people that have played with a mod don't know about it. Um, so it would be things that obviously only devs would know. Because it's secret things we put into it. Just to change the mod up a bit and hide some secrets within it. So let me know what you guys think of that mod uh, or all that series in the comments. And it will not replace this series at all. This series will still be on a Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. Um, that series will be on Wednesdays, uh, I think, or weekends. Uh, but it was on a Thursday this week because I actually didn't have time to record um, a snapshot video for the time this video should have been out, uh, which was Thursday. So this has been put out on Friday instead. So I'm now flying back to the actual farming area. I just went to the museum to get some deep slate because we are going to be putting some deep slate within the build. We're probably going to have them four blocks as, um, what is it called, blackstone? We're going to have about two to three blocks of blackstone mixing with the deep slate. And then we're going to have about four blocks of deep slate. So we're now going to just go over it uh, with stairs just so it don't look so like, um, what's it called? Uh, like blocky. So it actually looks like it slopes up and it don't just block itself upwards. If that makes sense, it probably don't um, as I'm not that good with words. So let's just do this all the way around. And then we can, or I might not do it all the way around, I might just do like half of it. Uh, so we can actually like get an idea of what the build will actually look like in the end. Okay, so we are now just building up the last few blocks. We are just adding some deep slate in here. Uh, not some deep slate, some blackstone. Just to make it look uh, that little bit better. And I think I want a bit more blackstone here and there. So let's add a bit there and maybe a bit. Bit. let's add a bit here as well so now what does this look like once again this is a i haven't planned this build there it did something die just there okay that don't look it looks absolutely horrendous let's be honest okay i've put some deep state in the bottom to break it up a little bit and i don't really think that has done it that has like made it look any better so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to quickly build it up a little bit more and I will see what we can do to it to make it look a little bit better because it don't look great at the moment. And that should now be the whole thing done. So let's now step back a little bit. And it looks, it still looks really, really bad. I'm going to move away from this for now because I need to get my brain. Um, I'm going to go do some tests in a creative test world for that as I'm not entirely happy with how that looks. So we're going to quickly head on over to the actual museum. As we haven't worked over here for a while, I need to get some blocks first. And we're going to decorate um, a room in the museum. So I'm going to get some blocks and I'll see you guys over there. So we're now over at the museum. And we're going to be working here, working on this room. I still haven't done the roof because it's going to require a lot of copper. So we're going to find the very middle. So that's four blocks. That's four blocks. Uh, this isn't actually even. I've just noticed something. Oh, it is, it is, it is. It's just because this isn't here. So, we're starting here. That is four blocks. That is four blocks. Then it's two and two. So, this is the actual very centre. Then it goes these blocks as well. So, I think that is actually going to be big enough for what we want. And you may have seen, um, if you're a good guesser, with the, by the sea pickles. We're going to be building another fish tank um, here. Because I think it would be good to like have maybe a glow squid or something. So it's going to go back by uh, maybe one, two. Uh, let's do it three. No, let's do it four because obviously a glow squid's going to be here. So it has to be a decent size. 
and then it needs to go back uh, diagonal by one and now let's go here and go out by four one two three four and then we can go like that and then we can obviously link it up like so so it needs to go there one two three and four and then it needs to link up like so so that is how big it's going to be it's going to be actually quite small if you think about it and we're going to have some uh, sea lanterns at the very back just to light up the whole actual build not build uh, aquarium or fish tank sort of thing okay so that is uh, part of it done i need to get some more sea lanterns and i'm just going to quickly start decorating something else just so you guys can see a little bit more and i'll go get these sea lanterns in a second so next we are going to get some birch stairs as we are going to let's quickly just make a few more as i don't think four is going to be enough so let's just make some stairs there we go and i also want some birch signs let's make some sticks uh this is getting a bit messy so uh, that is not how you make signs signs are like that so let's just make some signs and we're gonna have some chairs here so you can like sit here have a little break from looking around uh, let's actually have to do, like two chairs just so it looks a bit neater and we don't want to sign there saying a so something like that just so you can have somewhere to sit uh, so you've walked through this part of the museum you can sit down have a little break before walking past any like before going to look at what else is in the museum obviously it's just here for decoration you, you probably are not going to have a sit down in minecraft but it's the um imagination that actually makes it work these birch trap doors are going to go underneath the fish tank so we're going to have glass going up like that so let's quickly just put all the glass in place uh, just leaving a goo, uh, goo uh, two block gap so i can get in and out like so and i think the trap doors are actually going to go like so um around the fish tank and then these will have things on them we might even do what we did in the actual front and have it cornered off by a stair just so it looks that little bit more supported no i don't like how that looks so we're not actually going to have that we could have some stairs going out for like that or something and then a slab or something there maybe that might work so let's see if i can actually pick up some blocks and see if i can try some slabs uh, let's do that and there's a slab yeah that don't look too bad and then we're gonna have some um a plant pot there maybe and we might even have a, a pickle to act in as something it's not actually meant to act like a pickle and then maybe a lantern or maybe no actually instead of a pickle we're gonna have a lantern there just to put some decoration and then i can you put sea pickles in you can't can you put um this grass can you no you can't okay that has answered a few questions so we are now back and i'm just going to finish building up this so let's just quickly break that and build this up i'm going to get a glow squid in here off camera i'm not going to actually do that on camera because it's going to be very difficult i think the best bet is for us to actually probably try and find one um around like here somewhere although i don't think i will uh, it's going to be very hard to actually get one into there so that will be something that is done off camera just so i can actually like spend time doing it and let's quickly just finish this last little area and now let's put some uh, water in here so let's quickly just put a block there and a block there and we can get out of here by swimming up i guess so let's now just waterlog it all and I'm going to waterlog the whole like fish tank from top to bottom. Just so it looks a little bit better. And that should now it all... Yes. Oh, I fell. It is now all waterlogged. So now what we're going to do is we are actually just going to place down all of the... Uh, what's it called? All of the actual blocks. Uh, the roof. And the roof is... I might actually do birch trap doors going along. There's no reason for this. It don't have to be trap doors. But I think birch trap laws could actually look good going out along the top as the roof. So let's quickly just get some more. And then I was going to put like birch logs. But I think trap doors could look better. So let's quickly just make a few more of them. Uh, 20 I'm hoping is enough. I'm not exactly sure how many we will need. So let's just place all of these down. I want them all to be going the same way. Just so it don't actually look bad in the actual like looking into here. 
and it looks like I made four too many, but that's fine. Here we can put these away for another build. So let's just break our way down and let's now fly up into it and see how it looks. Okay, it will probably look better once the roof is on, but if we now walk up to it, can we pick up many of this up? It looks okay in there. It might look better when we actually get the glow squid and once that is actually why I have some of this. Let's quickly just put two uh, trap doors there. So when I break this wall, oh, it flows out that way anyway. Uh, let's just put one there as well then. Oh, uh, that luckily that didn't break any of our carpets. That would have been sad. So now let's just put some seagrass in here. And I could go get some coral for like the top roof. Uh, to put like on the walls to give the walls a bit more detail. Uh, but I'm not actually sure if I will do that. But anyway, I will get a glow squid in here off camera. And I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. Next episode I will show the glow squid in there. We've done a little bit of decal. We could do some more things on like these walls as they are still a bit plain. Maybe we could have more fish tanks in. Uh, maybe with axolotls in or we could have like shells showing off some bits. I'm not exactly sure. If you guys have any idea, leave them in the comment section down below. And next episode, hopefully I'll have a build for the actual smoke tower. Or I was thinking at one point to actually build it, make it a lighthouse instead um, of a smoke tower. And I might actually do that. I might um, build a lighthouse there instead. I'm not exactly too sure. But if you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye.